Okay, I received this uh, diesel heater from through AliExpress seller. I can't remember the name of the seller. It's uh, got the newer style um, programmable well, controller on it. Um, it's got an integrated fuel tank and it runs off mains voltage. As you can see, it's plugged in here. I have uh, additionally purchased a uh, an exhaust uh, muffler or silencer, if you want to call it. Um, the exhaust feeds up through the hole in the shelf here into the exhaust port of the heater that's inside this case and in addition to that i've taken the air intake for the burner uh, through a piece of spare exhaust port i had and they uh, the filter is outside pointing downwards so uh, to stop any water getting in so the, the basically the, the the air for the combustion is taken from outside fresh air and the exhaust is pumped back outside so it starts up and runs runs fine but one of the things uh, i'm noticing about it is it's not giving out an awful lot of heat uh, you'll you'll notice this uh, strange duct um, configuration i've got here i've basically attached the four 42 mil ducts into one here which i'm going to put a 100 mil duct from this and run it along the wall with some holes in it to to give me the heat to where I need it. So hence this is a bit of a DIY approach on the side. But one of the things I noticed, as I say, is the uh, temperature that's coming out. It's not great, even on full. Um, so I just did a little test there. Um, I started the test by filling the tank. Um, if we have a look in the, the tank here, I'm gonna pull this off. Yeah, so what I did was I filled the tank to, to the mark there. I put a little um, uh, felt pen mark on it. Uh, filled it up. Um, I ran it on full power for one hour. Um, I actually only started the clock when the burner was on its full temperature, when it had got up to temperature. So I started the clock there, took a note of what, where the level of the fuel was in the tank. Uh, and then after one hour, I shut the burner down completely and I took a measuring cup and I topped the fuel back up to the exact mark where it was at the beginning of the hour. And I used exactly 250 milliliters. So um, when I went to top this back up, I'd filled the uh, cup to 500 milliliters here and um, I poured the content of the the diesel into the tank and when it got back to the mark i stopped and i noticed i'd only used 250 milliliters so i've gone down to uh to 250 on the scale when i had filled the tank back up so in one hour therefore i've used 250 milliliters of fuel um now the the, the value, the the kilowatt value of diesel fuel is about 10 kilowatt hours per litre. So if I only used a quarter of one litre in one hour, um, then I've only used two and a, I've only been produced, I've only produced 2.5 kilowatt hours and in one hour that would suggest the average fuel consumption produced during that one hour period was 2.5 kilowatts. So the maximum heat I can get out of this is 2.5 kilowatts. Now that's the, the value of the fuel. There is There are, I should say, losses in the combustion process. So it's more likely that the actual power of heat that was being produced from this burner during that one hour period was only around about two kilowatts. So what I'm trying to point out here is this eight kilowatt heater is only producing two kilowatts of um, of heat. So it's not eight kilowatts at all. It's more like two kilowatts. It's probably a three kilowatt burner or something. I don't know. But I suspect that the programming of the... Um, of the diesel injection or the the use of the fuel in the mixture is somewhat um, incorrect therefore it's not getting the maximum burn temperature out of it 
Um, so I wanted to video this to show the um, the owners or the 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 sellers that there is a problem with this heater. It's certainly not producing heat. Put it this way: I can put my hand when it's on full, um, just a few inches from this spout. And if you look at the overall distance from the spout there, it's about six inches from. I can actually hold my hand there with it on full. And although it's hot, I can actually keep my hand there indefinitely. I should not be able to do that if this was knocking out eight kilowatts of heat. Um, in fact, the, the, the heat, yeah, I would get be burned if that was actually knocking out eight kilowatts of heat. So this heater, uh, I, I did notice that it's really not filling this space, my room here, my little workshop with heat. Um, it's struggling. Um, I'm hardly noticing anything, even after it running for several hours. It, it rises the temperature in this room by one or two degrees if you're lucky. Um, so it's not really doing its job. So I wanted to document that um, to prove um, that we're only getting about two kilowatts of heat out of this eight kilowatt heater. So it's it's not really as advertised. It's certainly not an eight kilowatt heater. So that's a, it's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to keep it um, because I like playing around with toys and things like this. And um, I might see if I can get a better programmer for it to maybe customize the program to see if i can get a better fuel burn ratio but to be honest it's being sold as an eight kilowatt heater and it's only about two so that's a bit sad but um there you go um i'll feed this back to the uh, suppliers anyway and let them know the story okay thanks for your time bye